I am a huge Studio Ghibli fan. I've been watching these films since I was a kid and like a lot of people, every time I watch them, they just give me so much comfort. And these fantasy worlds that Miyazaki has created have always been a source of inspiration to me as an artist. So naturally, over the years, I've gotten some Studio Ghibli merch. Okay, a lot of Studio Ghibli merch, and yeah, I want to show you everything. Hello, it's Elle, and today I will be showing you my entire Studio Ghibli merch collection from home decor to clothing to accessories. I may or may not have a problem. I've been growing my collection for the past couple of years and it's kind of gotten out of hand, but all of these pieces bring me so much joy and I can't wait to share them with you. So let's just get straight into it. So the first few things that I'll be showing you are kitchen slash food related and I'll be starting off with these teacups. I have a set of three. The first teacup that I ever got was this Spirited Away one and it was actually a gift from my sister when she visited Japan. So this one is really special to me. I didn't know that they had other designs. I was really surprised to see them at Barnes & Noble. So of course I had to add a couple more to my collection. Yeah, they're all pretty similar to one another except this teacup has different characters and elements from My Neighbor Totoro. And then the third and final teacup that I have have is actually the largest one and it's also spirited away themed but it has different characters personally this one is my favorite design because it has the little ducks from the bathhouse which I think is just so adorable I also have this no face glass mug which was a birthday gift from my friend Nina I mainly just use this for coffee in the mornings it's super pretty forgot to mention that this mug is from Hot Topic if I miss anything I'll have everything in the description below so make sure to check that out next I have a couple set of chopsticks they're a little dirty right now because I was just using them to eat hot Cheetos but let's just ignore that the first set of chopsticks has a little Gigi character on it from Kiki's Delivery Service and there's also a little cherry design throughout which I absolutely love. The second pair of chopsticks just has a little no face character design on it and I think I got both of them from Kino Kaniya Bookstore. I definitely want more chopsticks because I... yeah, yeah, I just... I don't know why. Okay, so the next item is my absolute favorite Studio Ghibli item I own. It is a calcifer pan from Howl's Moving Castle. How cool is this? If you don't already know, Howl's Moving Castle is my favorite Studio Ghibli film of all time. And Calcifer is just my favorite character in general too. So when I saw this on Amazon, I immediately added it to my cart. I have tried to make pancakes and toast with it before and it left a little imprint of his face, which was so cute. They also have a little calcifer, what do you call it? Mm, a matching calcifer spatula as well that goes with this pan that I still need to get, but yeah. Such a cool item. Next up, I just have this little hand towel of my neighbor Totoro. I love the design. The towel is super soft. I actually don't use it in the kitchen because I don't want to get it ruined with food. So right now it's in the bathroom, but I think I got this from the Kino Kaniya store. So this next item will probably pull on your heartstrings a bit because it is a Grave of the Fireflies candy tin. I know. It's pretty devastating. I actually bought this without seeing the film a year ago. I just saw the movie a couple of months ago and it absolutely broke my heart and I don't think I could ever watch it again, but yeah. This isn't just a display by the way, there's actual fruit candy inside and I have tried it before, it's pretty good, but for the most part, it just sits on my shelf as home decor. So the very last Studio Ghibli kitchen item is this Kiki's Delivery Service lunch bag. I got this from Box Lunch and I just thought this was a really cool piece. It looks like something straight out of the film from like the bakery and admittedly, I have not used it yet, but it just hangs on my door as decor. But this is what the inside looks like. It's insinuated. I don't think that's a word. 
Also, fun fact, Kiki's Delivery Service was the very first Studio Ghibli film that I ever watched. So the next few pieces are just random bits of home decor that I have around my apartment. So at first glance, this just looks like a regular no-face figurine, but this is actually a coin bank. You just place a coin on this little plate and no-face just eats it up and swallows it into his belly. It's such a cool piece. I just want to show you a little demonstration of how the coin bank works. Like I said earlier, you just place the coins on the red plate and then No Face just gulps it all up. It was gifted to me from my boyfriend a couple of Christmases ago and I am obsessed with it. This next piece is a little Totoro box and it's carved out of wood and I'm pretty sure it's not a legit Studio Ghibli item. I got it at a random store in Japantown in Los Angeles and it was super inexpensive. It was like $7 and I just thought it was really cute. You can put anything you want in it. I put cotton swabs because we leave this in our bathroom. So the next couple of things are plushes and honestly, I'm just really surprised that I don't have more than two. This first plush is just a cute little Totoro one and this one is also very, very special to me because it was also gifted to me from my sister when she visited Japan and yeah. I love this one. This guy is just a giant cat bus face from My Neighbor Totoro and it's labeled as a seat cushion on Amazon, but honestly, it is way too hard to be a seat cushion. Every time I sit on it, it just hurts my butt. So I just use it as a little pillow on my couch or on my chair. Moving on to books, I have a couple of them. This first one is a Spirited Away planner. It's actually from 2020 and I have never ever used it because I was too afraid to ruin any of the pages. They were just too pretty. Am I the only one who just collects notebooks and doesn't really write in them because I don't want to ruin it with my handwriting? This was also a birthday gift from one of my friends, Justine, a couple of years ago. Yeah, I still keep this because I love all of the little drawings inside of them. And this huge book is the officially official. This one is the official Academy Museum art book. And I actually did go to the Miyazaki exhibit a couple of years ago. It was such a beautiful experience. I enjoyed it so much. I don't know if it's still going on, but if it is, definitely check it out. It was 100% worth the trip. And yeah, they sell this at the museum, but I got this from Barnes & Noble. I think it was a little cheaper too. And I just love Love flipping through the pages of this art book. It has all of the sketches and cells of all of his films and it's just really cool seeing the creative process. I'm gonna move on to clothing and accessories now and I have a few jewelry pieces but I misplaced a couple of the earring pairs. So this first piece is a beaded Kiki's Delivery Service necklace and it has a little Gigi charm on it. I just love how dainty it looks. I actually wear this pretty often and I I got it from Hot Topic. This next jewelry piece are earrings inspired by the one that Howl wears in Howl's Moving Castle. It was also a gift from my friend Nina, so it was such a thoughtful gift because like I mentioned earlier, Howl's Moving Castle is my favorite movie. It's basically like an exact replica of the ones that he wears, so it's super cool. I also have these dangly suit sprite earrings, which I'm missing the other pair of. Hopefully I can find it. Yep, that didn't happen. But this one is super cute too. I got this from Hot Topic. Topic. So I have a couple of Studio Ghibli bags and I'm gonna start off with my favorite one. It's this Totoro backpack and I have no words. I have no words. It is so soft, so fluffy, and so cute. And honestly, I just love wearing this backpack because whenever I go out, it just becomes a plush that I can hug. The only thing is that it's pretty small inside, so you can't really fit much in it except for like your wallet or your phone. There's also this cute little acorn that's attached to the zipper. <sighs> I love this backpack. 
This next bag is a Kiki's Delivery Service backpack. It has a pretty floral pattern throughout. It has pockets on the side, which is great for my water bottles. And I got it from Hot Topic. It's not the most comfortable backpack, but it fits a lot of stuff. So I like to bring it with me whenever I go to the coffee shop. I also have this Spirited Away tote bag and it was actually designed by my friend Lonnie. So make sure to check out our shop. I'll link it below. But yeah, it's such a cute design. I can't wait to wear this out. And the very last bag is this little pouch of No Face. It has a little keychain on the top and a zipper on the back. And I just use this to protect my camera whenever I go out. It's like the perfect size. And I think I got this at Barnes & Noble. The last couple of accessories are from Hot Topic. I have this Spirited Away lanyard and it just has Haku printed all over it. It also comes with this little rubber keychain as well. This one is a Gigi bucket hat. It's the only bucket hat that I own so I don't really know how to style it just yet but I do think it's adorable. I love the pattern and I love the little patches that are stitched into it. Moving on to clothing pieces. This is probably the most beautiful bathrobe that I've ever laid my eyes on. It's a red satin spirited away bathrobe. It has this beautiful gold thread. It's just so soft and I feel so luxurious whenever I wear this at home. It's one of my favorite Studio Ghibli items I own as well. Seriously, just look at this print. It is so beautiful. The brand is Sugar Bones. They have so much cute enamel pins and clothing. So so definitely check them out as well. This next clothing piece is this Argyle sweater vest and it has a little patch of Gigi from Kiki's delivery service. So cute and it's super thick and soft. I love wearing this during the fall and the winter time. I also just really love the whole schoolgirl preppy look so I had to add this to my collection. These next couple of pieces are graphic tees and this first one is of Howl's Moving Castle. I'm pretty sure that I got this one from Hot Topic. I don't think they sell this anymore because I got this years ago. I usually wear this when I go to bed, but you can see that I wear this quite often. This very last piece is a ringer tee of My Neighbor Totoro. It's a little oversized, but it's pretty comfy, so I do wear these as pajamas as well, but I love the design. It's also pretty worn out as well. <laughs> Moving on to entertainment, as you can see behind me, I have a growing collection of steelbooks of all the Studio Ghibli films. I think I'm missing a couple, I'm not sure, but for the most part, I have almost all of the Studio Ghibli films, and I just love I love how the steelbooks look. They're so pretty. I love that each one is a different color and each steelbook comes with like a little booklet. Sometimes they come with prints too. So it's just really cool to look at the different designs for each film. These are definitely one of my most prized possessions. We also have the Spirited Away soundtrack on vinyl. And this was actually a gift for my boyfriend for his birthday recently, but let's just pretend that it's mine too. Obviously Ghibli films have such beautiful soundtracks and Spirited Away, in my opinion, has one of the most beautiful ones. This is how the actual vinyl looks like. It has little etchings of the characters throughout and each side has a different design. I wish I could get more vinyls, but they're just so, so expensive. Maybe one day. We also put together this Spirited Away puzzle recently and this is how it turned out. I'm trying to hold this as carefully as possible because it's not glued in the back and I don't want to drop this, but I love how it's a little bit see-through in the back. It's super pretty. Last but not least, I have a lot of larger Studio Ghibli pieces that I can't really show you from where I'm sitting since they're scattered around my apartment. I have a couple of art prints on my walls and the one that's behind me in my art studio is by Lalessa Edco. We also have another larger art piece in our living room by Felicia Chow. The next couple of prints are movie posters and we have them hung up in the door entrance of our living room. The first one is of Spirited Away and the other one is My Neighbor Totoro. We got the My Neighbor Totoro poster during our trip to the Miyazaki exhibit a couple of years ago. It was so hard to choose a movie poster because honestly I just wanted them all but I'm pretty happy with the one that we got. It's such a huge poster and I think it looks so cool in our doorway. We 
also have a couple of tapestries in our bedroom that we hung beside our bed. We have a Kiki's Delivery Service one and a Princess Mononoke one. We got them both at Hot Topic and they're super, super well made and just really beautiful pieces. The quality is amazing and I just think it fills up the space really nicely because before that, the walls were just super empty in our bedroom. We also have a cozy little no face blanket, which we currently leave in the car so that we could bring it to like the movies whenever we get chilly. And the very, very last piece of Studio Ghibli merch in our apartment is our shower curtain in our bathroom. It's of my neighbor Totoro. Okay, I'm trying not to forget anything else. Uh, so I did forget a few things like this Totoro calendar. I just love the idea of a perpetual calendar. Plus the details on this are amazing. I also have a few enamel pins that I've collected, half from blind boxes and the other half are by Just Peachy Place. And of course, I can't forget my Studio Ghibli inspired stickers that I designed throughout this year. Most of these are available in my super secret shop for my patrons, who by the way are the absolute best. Shout out to them for their extra love and support. <sighs> that was a lot of stuff. I feel so pooped right now. I feel like I talked so much. Hopefully I didn't miss anything, but I'm pretty sure that is all of the Studio Ghibli merch that I currently own. I am 100% sure that my collection will continue to grow over the next few years, so expect a part two very soon. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a Studio Ghibli fan like me, which I'm pretty sure you are because you're watching this video, let me know in the comments below what your favorite film is. I would love to know and as always don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next one bye everyone